Katarina Andriano with Ambitious.com, providing a fresh standard for positive news. Today we're joined by Kristen Peterson, a student at Johnson & Wales University who's studying to become a chef. Now anyone who's ever had a childhood dream can appreciate her story of first being a little chef in the kitchen with her mom to now actually pursuing a career in culinary arts. So Kristen, tell me, you know, when did you first become interested in culinary arts and when did you first consider it a serious career? Well, I was always interested, as you said, as a child in culinary arts, or just cooking with my mom. She was a great inspiration. She loved to cook. She still loves to cook. She's great at it. So I loved being in the kitchen with her and just helping her out, doing whatever I could. Um, I guess I always had it in the back of my mind that I loved it and it was a passion of mine, but I never actually considered it as a career path. So it was probably about junior year that I really started considering it to pursue it, and then I went through with it. Cool. So what exactly are your majors at school, and how do they help you prepare for your future? Well, what I'm doing is three degrees in five years, hopefully a little less. So I'm doing culinary arts and baking and pastry arts, and then food service management. So I'll get two associates and one bachelor's. Great. And then um, the culinary arts aspects are in the kitchen, so it's hands-on, actually getting dirty, getting into it, which I like a lot about the school. And then the business side of it is in the food, uh, food, yes, the food service management degree, so that I can learn like the accounting of it and how to run the business, which will definitely help me in the future. That sounds really beneficial. So, you know, what else besides your education are you doing to prepare yourself for your future career? Well, I'm just trying to get into the industry as much as possible. My chefs really stress that because you, you need experience is what it comes down to. And so I've been working as a hostess and as a server and then hopefully eventually in the kitchen when I work my way up. And then also my school requires a co-op, which is sort of like an internship where I will be getting as much experience as I can. I'm actually going to Disney World for that, what? where I'll be an assistant cook for three months, and hopefully I'll get a lot of hands-on experience there. So do you have you know, any advice for our readers who may potentially be interested in you know, culinary arts? Well, I would say that if it's truly a passion of theirs, then go for it. And um, it's long hours. It's holidays, weekends, nights, early mornings, a lot of time in the kitchen, and a lot of time standing on your feet. But in the end, if it's truly a passion of yours, then it's worth it. Great. So, you know, who would you rather cook with, Maria Batali or Julia Child? I would have to say Julia Child. She was very spunky and original, and she definitely paved the way for women in the culinary industry. So do you have any other inspirations besides Julia Child? I guess I would have to say Giada. I love her cooking, I love her Italian cuisine. She's very natural and fresh and a great chef. So, you know, we can't interview a budding chef without getting some of her secret recipes, so tell me your inside scoop on what you love to cook. Um, well, in my nutrition class, we were required to take a recipe from our favorite restaurant. Mine was Olive Garden, so I chose chicken cassellini, which is a pasta dish with a lot of cr like a cream sauce and chicken on top and it's we were required to make it healthier so I added a lot more vegetables and which added a lot more flavor and then cut down on the fat and the cream and it tasted delicious by the end but that's definitely one of my favorites and then baking and pastry wise I would have to say the flourless chocolate cake because it's gluten free which is a big thing right now yeah. and it's delicious it's really fudgy very chocolatey and that's Sounds really great. We're definitely going to have to hit you up for some of those recipes. <laughs> yeah. You can read all of Kristen's recipes at ambitious.com. Thanks so much.